amazing. Every time we come to the theatre, we stop here. <laughs> Have a pie. Sometimes the queue can wrap its way round down the road and then nearly across the road to the park. Or sometimes the queue splits and you'll get one going one way and one going the other way. All for a pie. All for a pie. We get a um, pork belly and a cheese. The pork belly, that's the most popular pie that we've got. What's the most pies you've ever sold? Obviously, doesn't. In the dark? Yeah, just in the shop. Gee, what's the Ducati drive? <laughs> <laughs> Good old steak and cheese. <laughs> Cl classics. Pot belly and apple sauce. But the salmon is the best. The salmon and bacon pie is so good. Pies in Malaysia, uh, it's not, not as popular as in New Zealand. I think New Zealand is more popular. Yeah, <laughs> it's delicious. And do you have pies in your country? Um, not really. What's your country? Uh, China. Do you have pies in Austria? No, no pies. It's just schnitzel and goulash. <laughs> <laughs> they came out to New Zealand as a chef. I've been chefing here for a long time before mm. I made pies. <laughs> we had a holiday home here and that's how I ended up here. Mm. Just that it would be just my retirement job here. So. Didn't happen. No. Didn't happen. No, no time for retirement now. <laughs> We are the biggest employer locally here. We've got 65 people working. Uh, people go through fairly. Um, they're travelling through, they might be heading to the local, like Queenstown, Mount Cook, Tekapo. Wanaka. We're sort of in the middle of the crossroads as people are heading on their journey. When we first started, everyone said nobody will come around the corner. We had all the cars of ourselves parked in the front to make the place look busy. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, he did used to make us park out the front. Everyone comes around the corner now. Fairly Bakehouse has been amazing for the community. It's brought heaps of people to Fairly. How many days a week is this going? Seven days. So here we got this. Simple Simon here, it's a semi-automatic pie machine. What makes a good pie is, first you have to have very good ingredients, and then you have to have some good cooking knowledge. Because I think the problem is when, this, when you do big quantities, you can lose a little bit of flair, and I think to, to be a chef, to, to can hang into this flair, I think was very important. Do you have a secret recipe? I have a secret recipe. You can't tell us. No, I'm not going to say this now. <laughs> I don't think I even know the secret recipe. <laughs> okay, right. It's going to the grave. It's going to the grave. <laughs> Putting it to the clays now. We have a bottom base with no flakes, and then we have the flaky one on top, so it's two different pastries. Does it stand around the world? No. <laughs> <laughs> in Australia it's different. Is it? <laughs> yes, oh, it's yeah, right? yeah. quite hot. I don't think New Zealand pies are better. Pork belly and applesauce. The famous pork belly ones are in there now. Top seller. There we go to six tons of pork a month. <laughs> He was pretty stubborn in wanting to challenge New Zealand's idea on what a pie was. Oh, they were too basic, I think. <laughs> it's an ordinary mince and, mince and cheese pie. But isn't that the most popular? Isn't it's it? very popular. It's, it's always simple and basic and easy to digest, I think. <laughs> Steak and cheese. Yeah, it's a go-to. Steak and cheese is very good. <laughs> the vegan pie has definitely increased in popularity in the last few years. Do you have a runner? We do. We try to keep the case and start this 
possible, but they're big orders sometimes. Did you ever have a vision that this could be this big? No, I just thought it would be just my retirement job. I have to let go one day. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to know the secret recipe before yeah. that happens. <laughs> Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. To stay up to date with all the latest news from the New Zealand Herald, click the subscribe button below or check out one of the videos here. And head over to nzherald.co.nz for more details on these stories and more.